Hello, this is Terry Hobday speaking from Friends House, where many of us are attending a Quakers in Business conference which is focusing on food. And I have with me uh, John White, who uh, is going to tell me a bit about his experiences. Hello, John. Hello, Terry. And uh, what, do you, what do you think has impressed you most about this conference? Well, uh, I, I must say that my, I didn't have very high expectations, to be honest, because food is not a subject which I'm passionately interested in, to be honest. Uh, I've always come to the Quaker Business Commons because it's always a good conference to come to, and this is the 10th one they've had. And, um, and I came along not really knowing what to expect, and I've been astounded by it, just what a deep subject it is. It's fascinating. We've, we've only sk skated the surface of it, but already we've, uh, some of the speakers have been excellent. They know what they're talking about. We've had farmers talking. We've had people have written books on, on the subject and some of the statistics are quite astounding really. Which particular statistics do you uh Oh dear, well we, we, we've had so many of them and in fact there's a good paper that, um, that summarises uh, a lot of them but the, I suppose the one that astounded me was the, 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 the fact that we can feed the population and you know, the, the population of 7 billion in the world at the moment, we could feed twice that many with the present food production that we've got if only we managed it more effectively, that, that's astounding and, uh, and, yet, and yet there are people going without food in the, in the world and, that, and that's astounding. And the other one about the, the, the um, misconceptions people have about big farming as well. Uh, I think somebody said that 70% of the world's, world's food is produced by small farms uh, throughout the world, and yet um, about 80% of the subsidies go to big farms and 90% of the research goes into big farms. And that's something has to be wrong there. So that's just two examples. Really. And, and what in particular do you think you'll be able to take home and put into practice yourself? Um... Well, I'm afraid I'd better have a bit notice of that question. <laughs> I'm just going to have to go away and sleep on it because there's so much. I'm certainly going to follow a lot of the links that we've been provided with on the, on the web because there's so much, of course, on the web about this. It's such a, such a, a deep subject. But as far as my own, uh, well, what it's going to change for me personally, it's certainly, I, I'm coming away far better informed on the whole subject than I had. And it's made me think as well. I, I suppose there's a conception that people who care about uh, the way food is produced and, and, and the fact that it's all going in the wrong direction, they're, they're seen as nutters a little bit, you know, as they're not, you know, they're, they're, they're very sensible and rational. And some of the solutions they're coming up with are um, they're very sensible, you know. Thank you very much for that, John. And this is Terry Hobday uh, at Friends House signing off for today.